Hi there. This is Technology Man's World and today I will tell you how to personalize your computer and make it look attractive. So first, when you will right click on any empty space of your desktop screen, you will get this view option. Now here you see there are three options small icons medium icons and large icons so right now my icons are small in size as you can see you can change it to medium in size and large too so medium is looking fine now windows also provides an option which removes all the desktop folders and all the shortcuts and everything from your desktop screen so to do that you have to just deselect the show desktop icons and if you want the icons just go to view and select the show desktop icons now next there is an option called sort by now sort by just sorts the icons by name, size, or item type or date modified. So it would be better if I set it to date modified. Now next there is an option called personal light. So when you click on this to reach here now there's an another way of reaching this page you can just go to settings open it and you will get the same page now when you will see that my desktop screen is having a picture now you can change it by choosing any picture from here so I would like to choose this and then you see my picture changed now let's say if you want from your computer a picture then you can click on this browse that also you can do now I would select this picture but if it is filling like it's not looking that attractive so I would like to change its filling to fit I would like to fit it on the screen so for that you have to choose a fit so here you can fit it so it will just fit on your screen now I want a different color at the surrounding not black then then you can choose your background color also so I would take this now if you don't like these colors you can also make your own custom color there are also many options like stretch tile center and span so you can use them accordingly now let's say that you don't Want a picture only you want your whole uh, screen as a solid color so so you can go to background and select solid color and now you can choose your own background color so if I select green then my whole screen will be green in color as above also you can make your own custom color so you can also do a solid color now let's say you want pictures only but you want to change or let's say you want a slide so so you can also do the slide so in the background drop down list so now I have one album from for my slide so now let's say that you want from your computer only then you have to click on the same browse button so let's take 
photos for use. Now I'm going to choose this folder. So you see, and it will you do next, it will just keep on changing. So right now let's say that you don't want it to fit on the screen as you can see that my last picture just fitted on the screen so if you don't want it then down you can choose a fit for them so if you just click on fill then it will fill on the screen now there is an option called shuffle so what is this so for understanding this we have to first open our folder so here is our photos folder so here here you see this is my first second third and fourth so when i'm doing the shuffle then you see it's not happening in the correct order right you see it's just shuffling one by one after first you see it's just shuffling but if you just off it then it will be in the correct order i mean you see now it's in the correct order Now, I want like to always click on next extra background and that time only my background will change. I would like to change it my own. Like it would change on itself. So then, then you can set the time that change picture every 1 minute, 10 minute, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 6 hours and 1 day. So, my selection is one minute. Now, you also have some color settings. Now, there are options like choose your default windows mode. So, if you do it light, you see that it's looking light. Now, this is another option. Choose your default app mode. So, setting this an app and right now, it is light. You do it dark see it's dark it would be especially good for the nights now transparency effects just give some transparencies now there's one more option choose your accent color now you saw many bar that in my file explorer raised down this thing and the color was changing a lot of times because I get the option of automatically pick an ascent color from my background. That's why it's happening. But if I deselect it and give my own color, then it won't be able to change all the time. Now, where do you want to give this ascent color? If you want, you can give at the title bar and window borders. So you see, now it's in the title bars too. Now, why you can't give the start task for an action center? Because when you do your default windows mode to light, it cannot happen. You have to do it to dark. And then you can do it on the start task bar and action center. So now we have explored the whole color settings. Now there's an option called lock screen. So lock screen is basically when you are not working and then your sud computer suddenly turns off and then you try to turn it in or in the morning you are taking out your computer and switching it on. So then the lock screen appears. So by default it is set to windows spotlight but you can change it to a picture 
which is provided by Windows, or also from your computer by clicking on Browse. You can also do the slide show. This can be from your computer also when you will click on add a folder. Now there is one more option called themes. Here is the maximum number of settings which you can do. So here you see you can do the background settings. So I have four themes here. So if I do windows light you see it's fully light now you can't take any theme from your computer but you can take from microsoft store so when you will click on get more themes in microsoft store then you will be able to get themes from microsoft store so you see that you have amazing themes and most of them are free so you can take them so I would like to take the bright 2020 flags which is loading so now I am going to click on install and it will just install so now you also have Pride 2020 Conversations. So now you can also install this. It's now pending. It will download. So let's explore more. So you see that there are amazing pictures provided here. So, yes, this is also good. Sun and Sand Premium. So let me install this also. So now, how would you understand that they are downloaded or not? So you have to go to settings to check it. So my Pride 2020 conversations got installed. And this also installing so my pride 2020 flags also got installed so now let's try one of these so I would give pride 2020 flags a try and you can see that it's amazing Now, if you want it to display as a slide show and change it on its own, then you have to put it on the background. So, you have to select this theme, go to background, and give it a slide show. And now, it will change on its own. So, yeah. You see, and it's changing on its own. Now, you also have one more setting called desktop icon setting. So desktop icon setting, here you don't have the control over the files, but you of course have control over the computer, users file, let's work, recycle bin and control panel. In simple words, this PC user network and recycle bin when it is full and empty. So, will it be in a computer screen or not? So if you remove users file and click on ok then whether you have selected this show desktop icons but user will not appear on your screen so yeah you have to select it now not just this you can also change the icons by clicking on change icon and now you can change your icon so now I click on OK and it gets applied. Now let's say you want to restore the default one only, then just click on this restore default. So yeah, hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye.